But we begin with the latest out of Deer Park as crews work around the clock to clean up the site of the massive fire at the Intercontinental Terminal Company. And new today, residents had the opportunity to voice their concerns at a community meeting. This is a Houston ship channel remains partially closed because of elevated levels of benzene. Channel 2's Brittany Jeffers in Deer Park following the latest developments tonight. Brittany? Well, there is a series of these community meetings that are taking, across, taking place all across the area. One of them still going on in the building here behind me, but a lot of people saying that they have a lot of questions, many of them pertaining to health and safety, also legal ramifications. Seven days after a raging fire ignited at ITC Deer Park, questions are still mounting. Multiple agencies are still trying to get the situation under control, and town hall meetings are working to address some of the community's fears. Attorney Benny Augusto Jr. presented at one of them today after receiving numerous calls for legal help. To investigate what's in the air, what's in their bodies, and why did this happen. That's, that's our goal. Investigators say nine toxins were detected from water samples near the ITC Deer Park ditch after multiple chemicals from the facility leaked into the Houston ship channel when a dike wall collapsed on Friday. We learned on Sunday morning that the U.S. Coast Guard tripled the length of booms that it has deployed to try to contain more of the toxic products released. Coast Guard officials say so far they've collected about 60,000 gallons of oily product. As crews monitor the levels of toxic product in the water, Water and air, there's still no clear timeline on any of this. We have to be very calculated and very methodical, you know, yet aggressive in the product removal steps because that's our objective is to get the product out of the tank farm and get the tank farm containment clean and get this situation resolved to minimize the impact on our community and to minimize the impact on our responders. Now, one more update to note. We know that tonight at 7.30, the Harris County Office of Emergency Management will have a conference call with Deer Park ISD. Well, they will then determine if classes will be held tomorrow. Of course, we will keep you updated on air and online at clicktohouston.com. Reporting live, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC, Channel 2 News. And as those cleanup efforts continue following the chemical fire in Deer Park, several school districts say they will continue monitoring the situation, as Brittany just reported. Galena Park ISD says that all of their classes and activities will return to normal schedules tomorrow. Goose Creek will also hold classes tomorrow. That district closed all of its campuses Friday as a precaution. We will keep you up to date regarding tomorrow's schedules for other school districts affected by this incident. We'll do that on air and online at click to Houston.